Hello and welcome to uh, the MHC for April. This is uh, going to be a tricky one. I don't know how long I'm going to survive uh, because it is the Hostile Mob Museum. Um, a devilish uh, little challenge devised by uh, Michael. Um, he's trying to get us all killed. <laughs> um, but uh, Right, okay, so let's set this world up. Hardcore obviously, more world options. That is the seed. Scotty Guard Beedis is awesome, which is very true. Uh, structures off and large biomes, so that in itself is going to be tricky because I'm thinking we're going to have trouble with food. Um, right, okay, I think that's everything, so let's get in and see. I should be in an extreme hills. And uh, yes, I think, as I say, food is definitely going to be priority number one. Um, never very much to be had in extreme hills, and we're not allowed to kill animals, even if there are some, so Yep. Um, grasses and apples, I think. And of course, the, the delightful zombie flesh. Uh, right, I'm going to start my timer, so 19 minutes, and that one's away, and let's get going. So, I would normally avoid going for the big tree, but I'm thinking that it's got the most leaves and likely to have the most apples. Oh, come on, block bag. Give me some wood. Oh, it's going to do it eventually. Hopefully this is just while the world is loading. Come on, come on, come on. Right, let's see. Let's get started with what little I've got. And that one. Okay, where have I got some stone? Over here. Um, chickens. I might lay some eggs if I'm here for a little while. Could be useful. You often get pumpkins in um, extreme hills. Oops, if I can scroll at all. Let's get some stone going. And one of those. And let's just stick it anywhere. I'm not going to be using it for long. Oops. Fingers on the keys, Cherry. It helps. Just had a very quick little practice in a in a um, a random world. Um, yeah, I didn't get very far. I only played for about 20 minutes uh, just to see what food I could get. Uh, it was in an icy mountains. Uh, what do they call it? Is it icy mountains? Um, biome. Oh, I can hear a skelly already. Which means that um, there was even less food opportunities than um, there would be here, so I thought that was probably a good practice. And I managed to get a lot of apples. Um, no, what am I doing? I want an axe and a shovel. Let's put them where I normally have them. Oh, come on. There we go. And uh, where is that skelly? It's making me nervous already. Um, but in this one, we can't be too afraid of the mobs, can we? Because... That's the whole object of the exercise, to trap one of every kind of mob if we can. We get different points depending on the difficulty of the mob. Um, and uh, yes, it's just how many points you've got at the end that counts. And you have to survive to the end to have any of your points count at all. So that's definitely going to be a priority, as I guess it always has to be anyway. Uh, right, let's have a quick squeeze around here. What have we got? There's no sign of any other... Let's get this little one going. Uh, there's no sign of any other biomes as of yet. I shouldn't be running around and jumping so much either until I secure some food, so come on apples. I think um, in my practice go just now, I chopped down one of these big trees and I got nine apples from it, which was really, really good. Um, so if I get anything near that, that would be very helpful. Now the other thing is that uh, Michael has found us some um, um, dungeons, because obviously we're going to need to uh, name tag our... Is that all the wood in here? Well, that would be handy if it is. Looks like it. Can't see any more. Awesome. Um, name tag our mobs to make them persist. Um, and of course in dungeons you can get other nice goodies, so I'm hoping to head straight to one of those as soon as I've got a little bit of this um, wood and hopefully apples to stave off starvation for a little while. Um, 
You often get food, don't you? Bread and wheat in dungeon chests. Ooh, that sounds scary. So we clearly have some caves right underneath us. Underneath us here. I can't even speak today. That's the nerves kicking in. Um, where is that? I think there must be a cave inside this. Yeah, right here, just the other side, probably. Probably get an arrow in the face as I mine this coal. Yep, there's the cave. Where's the skelly? I could do with him if uh, if he's easy to ambush. There he is. Bring some bones. Oh, I've got an arrow. Oh well, everything's useful at this point, isn't it? I shouldn't complain. Right, come on, apples, start dropping while I get this coal. How are we doing? Four minutes for nearly five minutes in. Time goes so fast. Okay, so yes, this challenge is really going to be a difficult one. Um, I'm no good at redstone. I don't even think I'll attempt anything clever with, uh, with redstone. I will probably try a couple of simple things, um, just using doors and uh, what do you call it? It's pressure plates. No apples, what really? No apples? In that big, big tree? Oh, this is not good. I was relying on getting some apples before I head down. Um, I thought I'd head for one of the nearby dungeons as soon as night falls, or as soon as I can get some kind of food. Uh, this, um, I suppose I can take saplings down with me, but I ought to grab some seeds just in case I get really desperate. If one of these spawners is a skelly spawner, that would be really handy. I'd rather have loads of bone meal and bone meal some wheat than um, use the zombie flesh from a zombie spawner. But whatever, whatever is edible is going to have to do, isn't it? Oh, this is another big tree. Doesn't look very big though. Come on, come on, apples. I've heard tell um, that uh, there aren't very many mushrooms around here either, so that's not going to be a food source for us, I don't think, certainly for the first little while. Have we got any more wood in there? Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, there's an apple! Yay! At least one! Thank you. Hello pigs, I would love to eat you, but I can't. There's another big tree. It's probably less productive than taking down little trees though, so let's continue with these ones for now. Got a few more minutes before the mobs start coming out in force. I need to start thinking about my positioning as well, ready to head for one of the dungeons. I've, I've kind of plotted them out on square paper, because <laughs> coordinates just confuse my brain. I need to see it visually, you know, as a, as a picture to get a uh, I leave the land. Alright, come on. I'm going to need plenty of wood anyway. So that's not a bad thing to be collecting. Okay, come on. Get as many, many of these things as I possibly can before I go down. That would be good. Uh, oh, we've got birch forest. Oh, so we're not far from a regular, you know, well, non-mountainous biome, so that is handy. Uh, let's just check. Oops, let's grab that. Just check my... Where did I start? Over here. I don't want to let apples despawn. No, it doesn't look like I've got any from those, does it? Okay. Right. Oh, an egg. Thank you, little chicky. Very kind. If I find some pumpkins and sugar cane, that's another way of surviving for a little while. Right, let's continue with this tree. Yeah, not the most exciting footage, I'm afraid. Um, but needs must. A girl has to eat. I shall be a fruitarian for a little while. <laughs> Uh, reminds me of love, actually. 
one of my favourite films. Oh yeah, I can see that so, you know, just time after time, always makes me laugh. No, not, it's not love actually, I'm, I'm, yeah, um, that is one of my favourite films, but uh, no, Notting Hill, that's the one I'm thinking of, um, where Hugh Grant is uh, trying to date other, other girls and one of them turns out to be this nightmare dinner guest who's actually a fruitarian and she's mourning for the carrots that are on their plates. Carrots, that would be a nice thing. Come on zombies, if I kill you I not only get the chance of, um, well I will get flesh, but I get the chance of carrots and potatoes. The elusive potato that I never got last month. That would be nice. I suppose these um, saplings will come in useful. I can burn some of them for fuel. And um, watch my do sits. You know what I mean, don't you? Grow trees underground if need be. That's always a bit of a pain though. Right, where did I chop those trees over here? More saplings, no more apples. This is not good. Really not good. Okay, let's give this one a go. I'm about to lose my axe. Make another one. Okay. There doesn't seem to be too many pieces of wood in this tree either, so I might get some despawning before I have to retreat. So I'm not quite sure yet. I think I'll probably try and get the, the dungeons that are local to this particular area and then move off towards the others. Um, I don't particularly want to set up my actual museum in the hills. I think that would be a bit of a pain. Oh, another apple. Good, good. Come on, come on. Drop. Did that drop or did that mirage? I did drop. Oh, three. Oh, good. That's more than I thought I had. Um, but not great. Ooh, there's a cave there. Right, let me think. I've got to go plus, plus that way towards the two dungeons, the two nearest ones. So I shall quickly... Oh, there's another one, look. Oh, fantastic. I'll keep me going, hopefully, until I can get to one of these dungeons, which will hopefully save me. Awesome, five. Right, let's start moving off in that direction. It is beginning to get a bit dark. Uh, what do I need? I need minus 19. No, what am I talking about? 19 and minus 2. Minus two is that way. Okay, so it's over here. It's about here. Oh, chicken! You frightened me! Okay. Now, I don't know whether these coordinates are directly to where the spawner is, or to near the dungeon, or how accurate they are, but oops, let's scroll properly. Okay, uh, stick and coal equals torch. That's good. Um, well, I should be certainly well off for wood for a while. Uh, let's convert all of that and that into sticks. Um, I don't need that. Okay, let's keep put that there. Have things where I like them. Okay. Right, let's light up a bit. Oof. And I think, because this is the position of a quite deep dungeon, so I think I'm going to two by one for a, a little while and hopefully find some iron as I go down. Uh, not granite. Granite is not helpful. And diorite, uh, terrific. Come on, iron. Oh, I'm quite high up, aren't I? This is going to take some time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to have a think in the meantime because I, I normally record my episodes um, on the day or the day before upload day, and I, I never record more than one at a time, virtually never. Um, I may be forced to this month because I am kind of tight on time this month. Um, and I really want to be able to fit in other things as well. Um, but, yeah, I am... Um, ooh, gosh. I'm still only just under the surface, really, aren't I? 
Oh, there's some more. Good, good. Uh, now I've completely lost my thread. Yes, recording. Um, yeah, I um, I will probably research in the meantime. <laughs> Do as much research as I can uh, to figure out how I'm going to trap these mobs without actually killing myself. Because, um, yeah, as I say, redstone's not my thing. I would spend all my time trying to figure out even the most rudimentary redstone trap, I think. Uh, so that's not going to be happening, so I'm going to have to come up with some some little ways. I mean, I think probably, as I think I said to Jade, <laughs> that uh, I'll be relying on the dig a hole, lead a mob into it and have a, a ladder or something to get me out of there as quickly as possible and hope that I don't uh, die in the meantime. But that's not the most foolproof way of doing this thing, is it? Uh, so yeah, hopefully a little research will save me. But we shall see. I figured this, uh, certainly this episode and probably at least the next one as well, will be just setting up, getting stuff, preparing, that kind of thing, rather than actually trapping the mobs, because we can't, there's no point trapping them until we can name tag them. Uh, so they persist. Unless, of course, they're um, zombies that pick up something or... Well, that's not what I'm making. Oh, my goodness. Right. Uh, let's do two of them. Come on. Off. There we go. I can hear a bat, so we're obviously getting down towards um, caves, at least. Which means I might find a little bit more iron as I head down. Still got a way to go, I think. What am I heading down to? Minus 12. So it's, yeah, it's quite a deep one, this one. Oh, and the other thing is, uh, Michael's been quite um, tricksy with us. One of the dungeons apparently hasn't got a chest even, let alone name tags in the chest. So we're not guaranteed even even now that these um, the things that we need are going to actually be in these dungeons. So we're just going to have to check them all out and hope. I presume we will get at least a few name tags to get us started. Otherwise it's going to be a really difficult task. Oh, I can hear a zomble. So it might be a zombie dungeon. I should be within hearing distance. Is that? Yes it is. Ooh. And it's light, so we've got lava. Oh yeah, I can hear lava. And water, that's good. Do like me a water bucket. And there's a dungeon. Okay. Fantastic. So, let's see if I can work my way over to that. Um, and smelt up. I haven't even made a, a um, furnace yet. Oh, yeah, definitely a zombie dungeon. Beginning to get the, uh, the groaning chorus. Okay, three minutes. Looks like I probably won't get time to actually tackle it, but at least I found the thing. Let's see. safely over to it. Bit of gravel, that's not a bad thing to have. Don't want to break straight into it. Right, let's see about lighting up. Get a peek at this thing. Hmm, interesting. Let's say, well, it has got a chest, at least that's something. They don't seem to be... Oh, yes, they don't. can. Okay. I was about to say they don't seem to be able to get to me, but I uh, spoke too soon, didn't I? Okay. No, I don't want to be breaking that, do I? Let's kill these immediate ones. They might at least drop me something useful. Come on, guy, die. Thank you. Um, let's make use of this. Okay. If I put a light on top here for now. Oh, emerald. Yes, I forgot. Extreme hills. I wasn't looking out for silverfish, was I? Uh, let's block that as well. Okay, first thing. Let's have a quick look in here. One name tag and some food. Awesome. Uh, I'll pick up everything. I doubt I will need some of that stuff. And there's iron down there. Which is also awesome. Good, good. Well, this is a, a good start. I'm glad I came to this deep one. Um, let's quick 
quickly see what else we've got around here. Right, good, at least this is safe, so nothing can get to me from this end. Right, let me see. Oh, there's my 19 minute timer. Uh, spot on the 19 minutes. Alright, let's kill these guys and work out where the spawner itself is. Alright, drop me something useful. Wow, I will be turning down my sound, my hostile mob sounds in uh, editing, I think. They are somewhat loud. Oh, hello, there's another one. Come on. Alright, let's see if I can get some torches going in here. Oh, before they get me. Stop. Okay. Right. Okay, well that's good. I won't starve at least. Got a couple of breads worth of wheat. And I shall grab that. And this iron, just before time's up. Oh, and we've got a ravine here by the look of it. Well, that could also be useful. Definitely feel as if we need to gear up for this one. Diamond armour and a bit of uh, enchanting going on wouldn't uh, be a bad thing, I think. Okay, right, I think we're... Oh, no, it's not quite in day... Day one, but we're about to tick over, I think. So... Um, let's just head back up here. Did I get everything from my furnace? I don't think I did. No, look at that. Nice. Seven. Ah, oh, shame it's not quite the eight. I wonder why... Oh, probably because I'm, I was lagging slightly. That's why the day hasn't ticked over yet. Um, hmm, bucket. I think is my first priority here. And a pick. Because if I do find some diamonds, I want to be able to grab them. Okay. Um, let's... Oh, there we go. Day one. Right, that's the start of my MHC. Hopefully, I shall uh, find some nice juicy goodies in this um, ravine next to me before I head off to the next dungeon, uh, which will be, yeah, definitely happening in day two, I'm pretty sure. Unless I die, of course. Can't count my chickens, can I? <laughs> Alright then, well, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you'll join me next time. Bye.